So you might be wondering, who do I use to support my future Arla Chino? Now there's a lot of options and it's no longer just Bennett. Yeah, wow, that although Bennett is going to be one of the top pick for her teams usually, because you know that's just how Bennett is. Bennett's just really good. He has, you know, the attack bonus. That's what you kind of really want, right? Not only that, but you know, if he sees six, he gets a 20% buff. Then it's just really, really good. But it's no longer Bennett Impact. There are so many other characters that can help support your Arlecchino nowadays that you don't really need to have Ben. Uh, I'm just going to talk about a few of the supports. I'm, I'm including sub DPS. I'm including just builders as well. Uh, I'm not just including, you know, buffers, right? Mona, Mona easily can support your Arlecchino, can be used just fine. But it, no, obviously, it's going to be a little niche and not the greatest of all time. Jingcho is going to be one of the main users that help your Arlecchino do Arlecchino thing. But the only thing with Jingcho is that you might steal a few reactions with him. But other than that, it's going to be a little bit... It's going to be way fine. You're going to need that Hydro application so you can do Vaporize very often. And he is one of the top picks to do that. Beidou. Beto is going to be an excellent choice for your Arlecchino. She's just going to be an absolute powerhouse thanks to her universe. She's going to be so easy to use. It's not even a joke. Not only that, but her constellations really pick up and help you do a lot of damage as well with, you know, overload. Uh, Shangling, I don't need to say more about Shangling. She's going to be really good. Great sub DPS for her. Uh, official going to be just fine too. Yeah, she's going to help with the overload reactions, especially if you're using a character like Chevrus as well alongside her. So it's going to be a pretty nice time there. I'm going to talk about Chevrus in a second here uh, once I get up there. Jungle is a staple. He's going to be a really good shielder. That's pretty much all you need. Um, does much else. You don't really need his reactions, quote unquote. Uh, all you need is his shield. And he does really well, 15% resistance shred. Rosaria, Rosaria's pretty okay. She's going to help with some crit rate and a little bit of melt reactions if you want to use melt. Other than that, she's not going to be the greatest of all time. But melt is good. Her crit rate increase is good. She's going to be okay. Yunjin. Yunjin's actually going to be kind of an underrated pick here. She's supposedly supposed to help your normal attacks do more damage thanks to her ultimate ability here. And you, you do have a certain trigger quota, right? You can only hit 30 times and then it doesn't really do an effect after that. It does help you. It increases your damage. 32% on level 1 and it keeps increasing as you go up. Super easy to use, super easy to build. So definitely a character that, you know, would be nice on your team. Not only that, but the more have different elemental types on your team, the more the more the normal attack damage bonus increases. So this is really good because on your other Chino teams, if you're not running Mono Pyro, this will be a really helpful tool. All right, Yelan. Yelan is going to be one of the top picks for our Arlo Chino that's going to be coming very soon. So this is just a staple to have. She's going to be incredible. She does a lot of damage, does Hydro application. Yelan's just a number one pick for most people all the time anyway. I definitely would recommend using her as well. She's going to be a pretty nice pickup. Kuki. Kuki is a decent healer, but that's pretty much all you're going to get from her. She's going to help with a little reaction with overload maybe, but I don't think she's going to be that important in that sense. So I don't think she's going to be the greatest support. Now Nilu. Nilu is going to be a pretty interesting pick. Personally, I don't have Nilu on any account, so I can't say too much. But she is going to help you do a little bit of dendro reactions if you have a dendro character on your team. If you want to play Arlecchino with Burgeon, I don't know why you would want to be doing that. Because you certainly do not want to use her with Burning. So there's that. So if you want to try Burgeon with Nilo, it could work. I don't know. I don't know how good that is. Oh, Layla. Layla is actually going to be a pretty good pick. She's not going to see the, a lot of your reactions. She's going to give you a juicy shield. And that's pretty much all you need, right? She, you don't need much more than that. Get a nice shield. Doesn't see much of the reactions. And that, that's what you want. That's what you want from this character. So perfect support. Now Dia. Dia is actually going to be a, one of the one of the good picks. I'm, I'm actually really glad. Even though he's yet to come into my account. And I'm really mad about that. She's yet to... Um, she's going to be really good. Uh, Dia has a resistance to interruption thing with her, you know, elemental skill. She's going to help you heal a little bit. It, it, she's just she's just fine. She just works really well. And there isn't much to, more to say about it. Yeah, she actually works pretty well with Arlecchino. Uh, Charlotte. Charlotte's going to be an interesting pick. Obviously, you can use Charlotte 
pretty much just for the healing. Um, other than that, her elemental skill is going to be taking a little bit too much time off on field for her to be, you know, used a little effectively. But other than that, she's going to be okay. She does the healing pretty fine. She's not going to help you do melt that much, so it's not that crazy. But you could use her for the support with melt as well as healing. So she's going to be a pretty okay support, so don't worry about that. Now Fiorina. Fiorina is a massive support for your Arlecchino, especially if you want to run Arlecchino with Mare Chaussee, which is going to be an artifact set that helps you get a little bit more crit rate. So I definitely think Fiorina is a massive pick to have. The ability to heal you if you need, her ability to give you a massive buff with her ultimate, her ability to do damage, she's just an overall amazing support and if you have her, you can pretty much run Arlecchino on Mare Chaussee and give her a bunch of crit rate. So definitely a fantastic character to use with Arlecchino and helps you a little bit here and there with some vaporized. Now Chivrus. Chivrus is going to be a really awesome pick. I cannot wait to see how Chivrus with Arlecchino. I still need to get Chivrus. So I really hope she's going to be on the banner with Arlecchino. That is my number one hope because I really want to try overloaded with her using characters like Fischl, like Beidou, like whoever else is Electro that could be is going to help shred. She's going to help give you a bunch of bonus damage. She is going to be awesome and I highly recommend using her if you haven't tried her out already. So I definitely want to try her out with Overloaded and see how good it gets. Now Xian Yan. Um, I don't know how good of a support Xian Yan is going to be. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Xian Yan. Um, and I don't have Xian Yan on my free-to-play account, obviously. So, uh, I can't really say much more about that. She is going to help you heal. She's going to give you a little bit of, like, the jumping thing with the plunge. That would be pretty fun to use on Arlecchino, maybe. I don't really know. I don't know if you can plunge in her Iron Infusion state. If she could, maybe it's actually one of her best things. I don't know. She could be a really good support. She's going to help you heal anyway. So, there's that. I think we covered um, a lot, if not most of the supports, other than Kaza. I don't know why I skipped over Raiden, but Raiden is an okay option. I don't think she's going to be the greatest. I don't think you need that much energy recharge on her or on her team, actually. So I don't know if she's going to be the greatest of all time. Plus, you don't want to spend too much time on field using her bird. So, um, the only thing I can think of is using a little bit of energy recharge uh, thanks to Raiden. Other than that, I don't think she's going to be the, the best option here. But maybe the Overloaded team could, you know, use Raiden Shogun, but other than that, I don't know. Kokumi! Uh, I don't know why I skipped Kokumi either. I kind of skipped a lot of Inazuma characters for some reason. But Kokumi is going to be a great pick. She's going to heal. She's, she doesn't need to be on field for, you know, her healing and stuff. So it's very, very nice to have her. And she's going to be really easy to build, easy to use. Um, her investment isn't that high, so she's going to be an okay character to use. Not to mention she is a catalyst, so that means you can run her Thrilling Dragons, which means you can get a nice attack buff as well. So she's actually going to be a pretty you know, okay option. Toma, Toma's is going to be an okay shielder for, for your Arlecchino actually. Unironically might be usable for you know mono teams, but I don't know if he's going to be usable if you're trying to do like a, a vaporize or a melt because he might steal the react. Other than that, he's going to be in a pretty okay uh, character and shielder. Yai Miko. Yai Miko can actually be used as a support. Yai has the ability to, you know, come on field, use her elemental skill, and then leave. Oh, she's actually going to be a pretty decent pickup if you're trying to use overloaded. It's going to do damage, and it's going to be a pretty good time. It's kind of similar to what Fischl does already. Uh, you can think of it like that. Uh, Yao 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 is going to be an okay healer. You know, start to, you know, dealing Dendro and you kind of don't want that. Especially if you want to avoid burning. So, I don't know if she's going to be okay. Mika. Mika's going to be an okay support, actually. Weirdly enough. Going to give you a lot of HP, which is what you're going to need. And if you don't have a lot of, you know, healing already, you don't have Diona. Which you probably do have. Like, she was free a bunch of times, right? Um, you get an attack speed bonus as well, so he's going to be a pretty okay option to pick up. I think I did forget to talk about Diona too. <laughs> I'm a little all over the place today, so uh, please excuse that. But other than that, she's going to be pretty okay. Gives you a nice elemental skill shield, so it's very, very easy to build her. And her ultimate can give you a, you know, healing, which is super nice. And also sort of deals damage over time, but it's not going to be crazy, right? Um, if you have constellations, she's going to help if you want to play co-op. Up. so that's pretty cool and if you have c6 you get a little bit more elemental mastery 
which is really really nice so there is that if you want to use Diona. Now I also want to talk about Yenfei. Yenfei can actually be pretty good because of her C4 constellation which is going to give you a shield. I am going to be trying this out on my uh, free to play account and try to see how good this actually is using uh, Arle in an Arla Cheeto team. So now I think I mentioned most of the ones that I wanted to mention. Barbara obviously is going to be an okay pick. She's not going to be great. Um, she will do a little bit of like a uh, little bit of like wet using her mental skill, but other than that, she's not going to be the greatest. Lisa might actually be a really nice pick if you have her built. You can do a lot of defense shred. You can do electric, so she might actually be a good option. So maybe there's that. And Noel is going to be a pretty good healer and or shielder, as long as you don't really use her on field that much. Because yeah, maybe maybe not the greatest pick actually. If I think about it. Um, GG. We don't talk about Chichi here. Uh, Jean. Jean's pretty good healing. That's all. That, that, that's pretty much all you need. And Viridescent Shred. So, pretty nice action. Nian can provide some cheap shield thanks to her amount of skill. So, she doesn't really need to rely on the burst, which is really, really nice. I don't think I talked about Kaza, but Kaza is in the current banner right now. And I've talked about him in a previous video already, if you guys want to watch that. There's going to be a link on the top right corner if you want to click that. And Kaza is just going to be an overall amazing support does animal shred does a lot for your team it, i am going to say kaza at the same you know place as sucrose as well because sucrose does give you that vv shred as well so it's going to be a really nice thing and you could also instead of you know any of these you can also use lynette lynette's going to be a pretty easy character to have because she's free so that is going to be a one, one of the picks that you guys can have just use vv shred on her or yeah viridescent and you'll be good to go other than that having causa is going to be really nice for your orlochino you're going to get buffs you're going to get the vv shred i don't know it's 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 just really good <laughs> other than that that's all the supports that i can think of so far um for orlochino if you guys want to know more supports let me know in the comment section down below and i'll try to see if uh, i'll cover it in another video but highly unlikely tomorrow or the day after going to get the banners and we're going to get the demo for our Lucino, uh 24 hours before her release and then we are also going to get some drip marketing for the next character uh, that's going to be coming to Genshin Impact which I think is going to be a uh, Clorind, Clorind right so that's going to be pretty cool let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon